Hi, good afternoon everyone. Just want to give a quick recap of last week market. Um, this is normal, probably for those of you who have missed it, what's going on with the last week. Last week the market was pretty strong, but you have up and stance. And then give you some insights for the last week of April, uh, which probably hopefully will be finishing strong. So if you are not interested to the recap, you can listen to the last part of the um, of the video, which could uncover what uh, what I, what the projection things are upcoming for, for the rest of April. European stock opened high on Monday while U.S. futures and Dow, S&P, Nasdaq and Russell 2000 struggled as traders considered the path to global economic recovery while closely watching U.S. earnings. Strong U.S. and China economic numbers offset concerns about the ongoing spread of coronavirus variant. Total new infection for the last seven days topped 5.2 million. U.S. shares slip on Monday falling from record high notch last week. Investors remain cautious over the slot of corporate earning ahead and the ongoing vaccine rollout in the U.S. The 10-year Treasury yield climbed to 1.582% on Monday from 1.571% on Friday. And this drove reviews of Nasdaq. Shares of GameStop rose 6% as the company announced that its CEO Josh Sherman will step down on July 31st or upon appointment of successor. Bitcoin regained ground after significant price drop over the weekend. The S&P 500 and the Dow on Tuesday continued to slide from last week's record highs. Global COVID-19 cases are rising and the U.S. State Department set to issue a travel advisory. The S&P 500... 500's consumer discretion sector was losing the most ground with airlines stopped down after the U.S. Senate Department said on Monday that it planned to issue a travel uh, level 4 do not travel advisory for nearly 80% of the country as COVID, COVID, coronavirus continues to spread. Official in Japan are waiving a virus state of emergency in the U.K. imposed a travel ban for visitors from India because of a high case counts there. Argentina is battling another wave of cases. IBM shares rose and performed the best among the Dow Jones Industrial Average after the technology company's first quarter earnings and roughly bid Wall Street target. But fellow Dow component Nike dropped sharply. Dow coin petered at a record of 41 cents this week. Uh, last week, the online trading platform Robinhood began to experience major crypto trading outages due to unprecedented demand, but slipped over 20% Tuesday, which obviously uh, on Friday was slipped further for, uh, for Bitcoin and all these currencies. Um, ben American initial coverage on fiscal with a buy rating and a $31 price target, and it was around $12 on Tuesday. So this one may be a good one to think about out of the EV, um, you know, that somebody have upgraded. United Airlines guide capacity to be down 45% year on year in the second quarter, suggesting the investor optimism for faster than expected snapback in travel was perhaps misplaced and financials were on bad foot. While we is to be honest, it's kind of expected that we knew that the capacity would not be recovered that quickly as pre pandemic. And every time an airline made an announcement, um, he they kind of reiterated that. But the Wall Street again, six months ahead of the game, and really, I think. If airline deep is always good to buy, and you, you know, air, airline just for FYI again, P pandemic it was at ninety dollars or you know ninety to hundred dollars range, I think, at a high. So why now trading fifty two dollars? You still have room to grow, right? If you're looking for ten or fifteen percent opportunity there, and also if you for long term. Um, you know, definitely you will go back to, you know, price range there, you know, where there was. Uh, the U.S. 10-year yield slipped to 1.56 down, 38 basis point. But unfortunately, Tesla a slow struggle to take advantage of slip U.S. bond yield. Johnson Johnson, simple J&J, was up 2% after falling better than expected first quarter result. And reported that some country had lifted the pause in its COVID-19 vaccine. On Wednesday, crew inventories rose 594,000 barrels last week compared with analysts' expectations of a draw of 2.985 million barrel. United States gasoline inventory rose 86,000 barrel last week in the United States compared with expectation for 446,000 barrel bill. What that changed their meaning is the demand actually was dropping due to the increase of COVID cases. But again, in summer season coming and if uh, more people get vaccinated, things situation improved. I mean, this number can turn around very quickly. Stock futures dip but reversed in the afternoon. Netflix fell. However, after we point disappointed subscriber growth, Biotech and simple BNTX will be rolled out in Europe but with a warning label attached. The Dow Valley is investor resumed best of reopening stock shuffle off a fresh wave of COVID-19 cases that threaten to slow the global recovery. Let me. Norway reincrease like 
uh, simple NCLH was up 10% and colorful simple CCL and raw cannabis cruiser simple LCL ended the day up more than 6% and 4% respectively. CSX simple CSS jumped 4% after a raw, raw operator report mixed quarter result as revenue built by earning Mr. Ross estimate. This cruise stock, if it drop a little bit, I think it's a good one to, to put because remember, um, we talk about retail and entertainment leisure stock will be actually going, you know, will be pushing up higher and, and, and as the economy we open. Glow jump Gold jumped 1% to 17.95.20 per ounce on Wednesday. S&P 500 West has dropped back to 17.5 from around 19, which is Friday, also in around that number. Initial load jobs claim slipped to 547,000 last week, which was the lowest number ever since 13 months, which much more lower than analyst consensus. On Thursday, Credit Suisse post first quarter loss of 275 million after Akutrus blow up and said it expected more pain from funds implosion. Dogecoin slipped 36% from all-time high as Blockbuster where what it went out of steam. Now it's around, it's gone back up again over the weekend, so now it's about 28 cents. Oil company are steaming up with fuel cell stock like fuel cell energy, uh, simple FCL, battery power energy, simple BLDP, and plug power, simple PLUG. And on Wednesday, Chevron and Toyota announced they are teaming up to build a hydrogen fuel cell infrastructure. We'll see if that will drive the stock higher. Hydrogen created renewable, renewable sources could supply up to 25% of the world's energy by 2050. We don't know that yet. Along with the good news, Binance suggests has hikes on capital gains up to 39.6% to fund child care and education proposals including the so-called American Family Plan. The market slipped the other direction on Thursday, and Dow dropped over 321 per four points, and Nasdaq was down 172.79 points. Southwest Airlines symbol LUV rose nearly 1% after it estimated it could achieve break even by June, underpinned by strong leisure travel booking into the summer months. The upbeat guidance offset makes the quarterly result as a revenue fell short of estimate. Las Vegas Sands symbol LVS fell 2% as Wall Street signed a caution note on company following its first quarter result that missed on the bottom line. Equifax symbol EQX report first quarter result that topped the Wall Street estimate, sending its share price more than 17% high. Energy stock was sluggish despite oil prices recovered some losses as hopeful recovery in demand remain fragile and rising global inflations. In other news, Citigroup symbol C sale of its retail business could reporting bring as much as $6 billion cash. Pick up from Thursday, the market will open for a mix. Financials were pushed higher by surge in the regional banking stock as a way for better than expected earning. Citigroup bonds back to a little over $71. Google Parent Alphabet, um, simple GOG or GOGL, Facebook, simple FB, Amazon, simple AMZM, Microsoft, simple MSFT, and Apple, simple APL, were higher. Microsoft did particularly well and hit almost 52 weeks high. The surface Service index slipped to 61.63.1 61 from 60.4. The latest, the fastest expansion sales data collection began in 2009, also helped to push the market higher. In cryptocurrency, Bitcoin slipped over below $50,000 intraday, but ended slightly above $50,000 with 260 billion whip off the crypto market as Biden tax proposal crash risk appetite. Other six other digital assets tumble as well. Ever fell 7% to around $22.90. Gold climbed slightly by 0.5% to 79.752 per ounce, thanks to lower U.S. Treasury yields as well as a weaker dollar. WTI crew ended around $62 for a week. Um, and, um, and all the index pretty close to where you started on Monday. On a different subject, investor confidence is bubbling over in the agricultural market with soybean leading the three main U.S. crop futures for the best week in almost eight years. Corn also up since May 2019 as well as wheat. According to Bank of America, more money has flowed into the stock market over the past five months than in the past 12 years. The trend reversal could lead to further upside, Bank of America said. In the past week, alone 14.6 billion flow into stock according to the note. A big move is imminent for the reopening trade based on the decline in COVID-19 cases in the U.S. and Europe, the fast pace of vaccination and seasonal tailwinds in the Northern Hemisphere, according to note from J.B. Morgan Alice Corvette. We believe that the reopening reflation trade will resume when we move that will be bigger than we saw earlier this year. 
year. And the second global recovery from a pandemic will prolong the reflection trade and prevent yields from surging too fast, which would be welcomed by the stock market. Federal Reserve Monetary Policy Announcement and First Quarter GDP Report Schedule for Release. Uh, this week, strong meta PMI, robust new home sales, and sharp rise in average prices shines a light on the strength of the U.S. recovery. Um, we will see if Fed will have any surprise causing the market to react. And this week, uh, coming week, the last week, April will be very strong on earnings. Um, you really earning season again. So hopefully, if there are a lot of solid fundamental company, um, Apple, Amazon, you name them, that actually some of the small cap as well will show a less loss, which they're burning cash, cash than expected. Then the market may have a change in momentum. Will continue push it up. I, I actually look forward in the way now, as you can see, the Nasdaq has been up now, pushing up higher rebounding. Dow is continue to be the record high, and S and P five hundred still doing incredibly well. So with a combination of those, and hopefully the extra cash coming in with you know the Biden fourteen hundred dollars effect that now come to play in the retail sales, home sales continue to be strong and and with vaccination and the US continue to have lower cases um hopefully that you know the rest of the world will also get taken care of eventually um then you can see all this good news and great news that can continue to pump the market higher and again you have to do a comparison with where you were at in January or even December last year compared to now in your portfolio if you haven't sold them you see the decline I will take a juggle between where you were at that time versus where the market now and take a midpoint potentially to the Determine selling the stock. And one last thing is, I really don't want anybody to sell the stock just because of the tax proposal. Very high chances that that is not going to fly. Number one, number two, if it is, it's not going to be a proper pass or approved in July timeline of this year, which still got three months to go. And third piece is, even if you pass, chances is it won't be going in effect until next year of 2022. So hopefully, all these positive news will remain. Fed will have a good news saying, hey, we're still not going to raise interest rate, even with this great environment uh, with unemployment slightly dropping. Um, I still. I was lucky enough to find a job now, but I really need to find another job because this doesn't pay much at all. And and honestly, it takes two months to find a job. So I know there's still a lot of momentum. Things need to be going. So uh, just something to bear in mind with the number that better doesn't mean U.S. economy necessarily be better because you have to look at who you talk to. Have a nice and wonderful week and hopefully we're all making money in the coming week. Thank you.